This week, we head west to Joost van Dijk, where we explore a bubbly hole, drink painkillers like tourists, eat lots of food like tourists, then put the boat up so we can travel home for Christmas. It only took us four hours to cover all the ground we made sailing for a month. Cause even in the madness, there's peace, drowning out the voices all around. Or four days in Leverick and Saba and Bitter End, and we're on the move again. We're heading around the north side of Tortola to Cane Garden Bay. We went to Cane Garden Bay 10 years ago on our first catamaran trip, and I remember it being really neat. Great beach, and there's an old, like 400 year old rum distillery there. So we'll go visit that and see how much it's changed over the years. As it turned out, a huge system in the Atlantic was pumping 10 to 12 foot waves toward the BBI and Cane Garden Bay was not the place to be. So we diverted to Joost van Dijk. We stopped over in Long Bay so we could go investigate something called the Bubbly Pool. It was, in fact, a bubbly pool. The ocean entrance was facing north, so we got to see some pretty spectacular waves. Looking at it from above, it was a pretty neat channel with some rocks to break the waves right before they got to you. Next day, we moved over to Little Harbor, which gave us nice dinghy access to the touristy stuff on Yoast. First stop was the Soggy Dollar Bar in White Bay. This is where the infamous painkiller drink was invented, and lots of folks come to White Bay to have a drink and take in the view. And when it gets too hot, you go stand in the water for a while. The next day, we really didn't do much of anything until the evening, when we headed over to Foxy's, another famous watering hole one bay over. With all of the hustle to get to the Virgin Islands, we kind of avoided a lot of the Christmas buildup that starts right after Thanksgiving. But Foxy's was all decked out for it. We came for the cookout, and it did not disappoint. We got full bellies and got tired, so we headed out. Cool place, great food, what's not to like? So we are headed to the marina in the British Virgin Islands. We're heading home for the holidays and we're gonna put our boat up for about a month. And to do that, it's gonna take a couple days of putting things away and cleaning. So we're leaving Joost van Dijk and heading around to the other side of Tortola. Gonna fill up, tie up, and get ready to head home. Docking was interesting. I had to sort of parallel park because there were mooring buoys in my way. It all worked out okay though. Seascape wasn't far behind us and we settled in. 
As it turned out, some friends of ours that we met in the Bahamas last year were on the island and we ended up meeting over at Cane Garden Bay. We first met them at Tiny's on Long Island and spent a couple of days touring around. We spent a day lobstering and avoiding Karens. We even rode out a blow in Georgetown next to them. It was great seeing them after all this time. But back in the present, we headed over to the Colwood Rum Distillery and it looked much like it did 10 years ago. The inside was a lot cleaner than I remember it. They have shelves and merchandise now. We paid a few bucks for a tour and got to see where they press the sugar cane. And we checked out where they cook it. We did a tasting at the end and it was still as good as I remember it. Now, the day before we were scheduled to leave, we learned that we needed to temporarily import our vessel into the BVI since our boat was going to be in country beyond 30 days. We thought it was simply paying a fee, but that wasn't the case. So we had to hire an agent to help take care of it while we were gone. And we had to get a letter notarized giving him the power to act on our behalf. It all worked out, but created a little stress before leaving. We had a short hike to the ferry, checked in luggage, did paperwork, got on the ferry, rode to St. Thomas, caught a smaller ferry to the place we were staying overnight, thank you, Aunt Seal and John, took a cab to the airport the next day, and finally got on the plane to take us home for Christmas. As I looked at the flight map, it was hard to believe that it would only take a few hours to cover the same ground that we took a month to sail. So that's it for this week. I know it was a short one, but there's plenty more to come. Stay tuned next week as we get back to the boat and head out for St. John and the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's a beautiful place. You won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, and follow us on Instagram to see what we're up to on a daily basis. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.